macronutrients are the building blocks of nutrition. They provide calories, the energy your body needs to carry out everyday functions and activities. The three main macronutrients that provide calories are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Having a balanced diet is vital for your health, but it can be daunting to determine which foods have the vitamins and minerals you need. Green vegetables are the best source of micronutrients, and they're also low in sugar and fat, so they'll help you maintain a healthy weight, repair, and muscle tissues. For a diet to be considered healthy, it must be low in calories. A food's calorie density reflects how many calories it contains in one unit of measurement. On food labels, this is usually listed as calories per gram. Most of the calories in a typical American diet come from carbohydrates and fat, too low nutrients in nutrition value. By adding more foods rich in micronutrients like fiber, magnesium, chromium, and other vitamins and minerals to your diet, you'll get the nutrition you need without taking in excess calories. Protein is an essential macromolecule that is needed for the maintenance and growth of muscle tissue and many other biological processes, including the production of some hormones, enzymes, and antibodies. Protein is present in all body cells and is one of the building blocks of bones, muscles, cartilage, and skin. Among the many food sources, protein seems to be the rarest. But how can you get more protein? According to the popular opinion from athletes, eating eggs, milk, meat, and many other supplements can get you the protein you need for your body. But this wise opinion may sound great but isn't good for your health. Research shows that animal protein is responsible for many heart disease, high blood pressure, asthma, stroke, and cancer in Northern America. Eating greens is one of the best things we can do for our bodies. Studies have shown that eating more vegetables and fruit can reverse obesity, diabetes, and heart disease, with each bite providing us with more vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants. Simple carbohydrates, found in processed foods, have a low ANDI score, while complex carbs have a high aggregate nutrient density index score and are best for weight loss. Green leafy vegetables contain more nutrients per calorie than almost any other food and should be the basis of your diet. Carbs are a vital component of many body functions, from positive mental states to the healthy function of muscles. Complex carbohydrates in meals can help improve sleep quality, mental stability in the body. Complex carbs can be broken down into glucose and stored as glycogen, which our bodies use as an energy source. When we exhaust this reserve, our body would automatically burn fat as a sustaining fuel, then later on protein. Carbs, fats, and protein make up three major food groups that keep you going during your workouts and throughout the day. The 60-20-20 ratio is a general guide for good health and athletic performance. Meals around 60% carbs, 20% protein, and 20% fat. Fat has gotten a bad rep. Being overweight is unhealthy, but only because it is often a symptom of another underlying health issue. Fat is essential to your existence. It protects your organs, produces necessary hormones, supports cell growth, and provides your body with energy. While fats are higher in calories than proteins or carbohydrates, they are still placed in your diet. Small servings of healthy fats can help you feel fuller longer and even aid in weight loss. And the key is to focus on high-quality fats, like avocado, nuts, and fish, rather than harmful saturated and trans fats. Because when it comes to your waistline and overall health, not all fats are created equal.